so our topic is uh, equations of tangents and uh, normal to the curve let me draft what a, a curve is if that's our curve then uh, we have a uh, uh, this straight line this straight line that is touching a curve at exactly uh, one point that is a, a tangent and uh, then <clears throat> when we have a uh, another line which is uh, perpendicular to the curve to the to the tangent and passing it through that point let me get somebody in uh this is a straight line which is now passing through that particular point at uh, this point here uh, this is the one we call the normal so uh, this every time <coughs> we are going to call the gradient of the normal of the tangent as m1 and we want to call the gradient of the normal as m2 and this gradient of the normal m2 will be equals to 1 minus 1 over uh, m1 that is you reciprocate and you change the sign we want to use that language reciprocate change the sign now in many of the equations we are going to attempt <clears throat> we are not going to draw a curve to, to draw what we are going to go straight where the gradient of this uh, tangent is equal to change in y over change in x that is the derivative of the equation of the curve now let's uh, start off with our first example so as we can see the gradient of a curve is the same as the gradient of the tangent to the curve at that point so gradient of the curve at this point here this idea can be used to find the equation of the tangent to a curve at a given point. Abuya, do you have my screen? Yes. Great. <clears throat> so, uh, our example five, find the equation of the tangent to the curve now because of uh, i want us to combine the two i want us to say equation of the tangent <coughs> and uh, you put there and the normal to the curve equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve uh, y is equals to x cubed plus 2x plus 1 at the point that we are saying now our point is here at one four so the first step is to get the derivative get the gradient so we start by getting the gradient of the tangent
Gradient of detergent, we have said it is, uh, it will be our M1. And our M1 will be dy dx. So what is dy dx of the curve? dy dx of the curve will be 3x squared uh, plus 3x squared plus 2. Derivative of the first and the second plus 2. So when we are told <coughs> at uh, at 1, 4, it means the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 4 at that particular instant. So when x is equals to 1, m1 would be equals to gradient of the of the, 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 the curve at that particular instant at 1, 4. So gradient will be equals to 3x, 3 into 1 squared plus 1, plus 2. And this one gives us 5. So our M1 is 5. So since we have M1 and we know the general form of equation of a straight line, why? Hmm, no, let me not use that approach. Let me go with the basic approach. Uh, we know that uh, this is our point. This is the gradient. So we have M1 gradient, which is 5. The line is passing through 1, 4. This point here. And we let the line to pass through another point, x, y. So, now our equation of the tangent will be change in y over change in x y minus 4 over x minus 1 is equal to the gradient, which is 5, then over 1. Cross multiply, y is equal to y minus 4 y minus 4, it is equal to 5 minus <coughs> minus 5, uh, 5x five minus 5, then y minus 5x is equals to uh, 9, and this is the equation of the tangent. Then, what about now, that's the equation of the tangent, what about the equation of the normal? We get back and we agreed here that M2 is equals to reciprocate M1 and change the sign. So equation of the normal. The normal to the curve at 1, 4. So we need M2. So gradient M2 will be equal to negative 1 over 5. I, I, don't, I don't want us to go to the root that uh, uh, m1 times m2 equals to negative 1. Good. That's, that, that is the holding. It's a, it's a fact. But, but, but where it will land you is at reciprocate and change the sign. Because if we cross multiply this one, will still be m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So the, 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 the shorter uh, root is uh, reciprocate m1 and change the sign. <coughs> so in this case, we have this gradient and the line is passing through 1, 4 and another arbitrary point, x, y. So we say change in y over change in x y minus 4 over x minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 5. Cross multiply 5y minus 20 this equals to x 
plus negative x plus uh, 1. So this is 5y uh, plus 1 plus x. This equals to 20 to the other side. Let me get somebody who is uh, joining us. <coughs> and uh, that's where we are. Uh, so, so, so you can move further and express this equation in uh, this equals to taking 20 to the other side, it becomes 21. That's the equation of the normal. So, where there is a tangent to the curve, there must also exist the, the normal to that curve. All right, let's go to another example. Those who have joined us, Epiphany, and me, and we, do you have our screen? Yeah. Epiphany, you have the screen? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that one makes us to to reshare. <laughs> now you have the screen. <coughs> Yes. Ah, good. Example six. Uh, Maxi, read example six. <clears throat> Find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equals to x cubed minus two x minus one at one negative 2 at 1 negative 2 for the purposes of those who have joined us we have said that uh, if this is a curve in a very fast way uh, this one becomes the normal to the curve this is the tangent to the curve it is touching the The, the 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 curve at one point and then we can have a and then we can have another curve another straight line which is perpendicular to the normal uh, perpendicular to the tangent and it is passing through that particular point. So for example, this is the curve that we have, this one. With this curve, after drawing it, there is a point which is uh, uh, 1, negative 2. That's where the line is passing through. And then to our analysis, we have said if this is the tangent to the curve, this one will be the normal to the curve. The gradient of the tangent, we call it M1, which is equal to change in Y over change in X. And the gradient to the normal will be M2, which is the same as reciprocate and M1 and change the sign. 
Those are the facts that we should move along with. Now, we have uh, this equation. Find the equation of the normal. <clears throat> so, I will change the equation and say find the equation of the normal of the tangent at the normal to the curve so that we move along with the two concepts and the normal to the curve. So, we start with the tangent. We start by getting the gradient M1. M1 is equals to dy dx. dy dx of this function. dy dx of this function, let's differentiate uh, x3 to sema in a multiply hapa. So we have 3x. And then reduce the power by 1. So 2. Derivative of 2x, this one becomes 0, or 1, 1, 1, that's the power of 1, 1 times 2, negative 2, and it was 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1, and of course differentiating a constant becomes 0. So this is the derivative, <coughs> but now we are given a point. When we are given 1 in negative 2, it means x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 2. Substitute 1 to get m1. So our m1 will be equal to uh, 3x 3 into 1 squared minus 2. 3 times 1, 1 squared is 1, 3 times 1, 3, 3 minus 2, uh, 1. That's the gradient of the, of the tangent. Then we get back to the general procedure of getting the equation of the tangent, the equation of a straight line, because the tangent and the normal are straight lines. So we have a, we have a gradient M1, which is uh, 1. The line is passing through 1 in negative 2. It is also passing through another point, x, y. Then we say change in y over change in x, y minus minus 2 over x minus 1. This equals to 1, then over 1. Cross multiply 1 plus 2 is equals to x minus 1. So x, take everything to the other side. x minus y. To be she yapa. This equals to 3. This is the equation of the tangent. Uh, sometimes you be told in which form to you, you leave your answer in. Uh, <coughs> Somebody is uh, still popping in. This thing you have our screen. Good. Good. Uh, this is the equation of the normal, the equation of the tangent. Now we can find the equation of the, this is the tangent. What about the equation of the, of the normal? Uh, the normal, uh, we are now talking about this line. So the normal will be, <coughs> we get back to our analysis. Normal as a gradient of M2, which is the reciprocal of M1. And they change the sign. So the equation of the normal. Of uh, the normal. The equation of the normal will be. We need M2. Where M2. It is to change the sign and reciprocate. So negative 1. Over 1. Because our M1. 
was uh, 1. Uh, this line is passing through uh, 1, negative 2. This point here. And another point x, y. I think this is the uh, the most uh, direct method. Then equation of the straight line, equation of the normal, will be equal to change in y over change in x, y minus minus 2 over change in x, x minus 1. This equals to negative 1 over 1. Cross multiply, y plus 1 plus 2 this equals to negative x plus 1 this one to this side x plus y this equals to this one to the other side uh, negative 1 and this is the equation of the normal any question We can do another example <coughs> that uh, we will be now be asking something else. Mm -hmm. uh, exercise 8.2. Mm. Uh, question, find the equation of the tangent to the curve. I'm still going to add the tangent and the normal to the curve at the point, at the indicated point. So, uh, I want you to choose one. Sarah? A, B, C, D. Choose one. C. Ah, you want us to attempt to C. <coughs> okay, C. Yes. We are still saying this is the curve, uh, this is the tangent, and uh, this is the normal. So from there, this is our normal to the curve, this is our tangent to the curve. Gradient of the tangent dy dx. Gradient of the normal. 1 over m1 change the sign this is our m1 now let's analyze the equation that we have part c let's find the gradient uh, let's start with the tangent gradient of the tangent m1 m1 is dy dx Let's differentiate. X cubed becomes 3x squared. Uh, plus 6x squared. Differentiating it becomes plus 12x. Minus 3x. Differentiating it becomes minus 3. And then differentiating a constant becomes zero <coughs> so our m1 will be equals to uh, will be equals to and it is passing through a point where x is equals to zero uh, x is equals to zero we need uh, a gradient so m1 substitute zero here So it will be 3 times 0 squared plus 12 times 0 minus 3. So finally we get minus 3. 0 plus 0 minus 3. Minus 3. Uh, we need a point. We don't, <coughs> we need a point, one point where the equation is passing through. So, so we need the value of y. When x is equals to 0, what is the value of y? Substitute 0 here. 0 cubed, uh, 0 squared, 0 
and then one all these ones will become zero zero plus zero minus zero plus one so our point is zero and then one so when x is equals to zero y is equals to one so now we have the equation we have a straight line which is the tangent and this straight line is passing through 0 1 and uh, now we can have the gradient is negative 3 the line is passing through 0 1 and uh, through another point x y so gradient is equal to change in y over change in x is equal to the gradient negative 3 cross multiply y minus 1 is equal to negative 3x plus 0 so bring this one to this side and this one to this side y plus 3x is equal to 1 this is the equation of the tangent. Because we agreed that we find the equation of the tangent <coughs> and the normal. So equation of the normal will be we need M2. And M2 we said reciprocate and change the sign. Now it becomes a third reciprocate the gradient which is m1 and change the sign so negative 1 over the gradient of the tangent <coughs> now we have a straight line which has a gradient of a third which is passing through 0 1 and through another point x y so change in y over change in x, y minus 1 over x minus 0, this equals to a third, cross multiply, 3y, minus 3, this equals to x. So the equation of the, ta the, the, the normal, take this one to the other side, x minus 3, y, is equals to negative 3 and this is the equation of the normal to the curve wonderful now we shall move to something else